Okay, this is a Craftsman. You can see here, this is a Craftsman half a half a horsepower garage door opener. And you can see here I have those three connections. And so when we plug it in, and we in between this connection number one in red here and number two we're gonna put a push button okay so we got one two and three so between one and two we're gonna put a push button so I got here a push button And I'm gonna put it between one and two. So it's quite easy. Get this in one. And I get this one in two. Okay, so that's it. Now we're gonna press the button. The garage. Trying to work, but it doesn't work. Let me show you how long. So uh, let me put this on the on the gear of the grass so we can see what's going on here. Yeah, the easy way. It's just to indicate. Let me put the camera up a little bit. So when I press the button, press the button, you see how it's coming back. Try to go forward and then it's coming back. Press it again. That's because there is no sensor between the other two buttons. So now I got the whole set of sensors. These two sensors and I have the whole wiring all down here. So I'm going to put the sensors right here. One sensor is going to go on two. And the other sensor is going to go on three. Now I got the two sensors installed already. This is the two sensors. And I'm going to align the sensor. So now when I try to turn it on, try to run it, not working. Okay. Now let's try to align this sensor, see if this makes it to work. I'm going to put the two sensors here so you can see what's going on. One sensor here and the other sensor here. You can see the light is on. If it is a light, the light goes off. Look at this light here. On, off. So when the light is, a, when the light is on and I try to open the garage, the garage opens up. You hold this in place. Now I want to close the garage, I press the button, and it's closing the garage. Alright, so if there is misalignment, it's not working. So we're going to try to bypass the whole thing, so we don't want to use these two guys. These two guys, we don't want to use it, so let's remove all these guys. We're gonna get rid of all these guys. All this is not good anymore. And we're gonna get rid of all these guys. 
Now we're gonna go online. I got this company who sell this. I can show you here the two things. So you have to buy, this is the post generator. This is the guy. See if the camera takes it right. So, okay, you can see here it has two controllers. And once you get it, and here is the output of the device. There are these three pins here. Let's see if I can. Oh, the camera is not doing the right thing. There you go. So you got the three pins here. This thing is VCC. The top pin here is VCC, ground, and the output. So basically, what you have, and let's draw over here. Let's move the camera here, see if I can get it. So, this is the device that we're talking about. And basically, it's like this. So this is VCC, so this is the device, and you got VCC, ground, on the output. And you got a couple pad here, control resistor here. One is this one, and the other one is this one. And they have the control here, okay? So it, this is this guy, and this is the other guy. So this is better resistor. So you're gonna take those two resistors, so you're gonna take a small screwdriver and you're gonna clockwise it all the way through. Both resistors, this one and this one. So you turn all the way this guy and all the way this guy clockwise. This guy and this guy on the same way the clock move. Once the two resistors are clockwise, you're gonna put a dial. You're gonna put a dial like this to output. Okay. So basically, what it is is the dial is like this. They have this black mark. It's gonna go this way. Okay. And. One cable is gonna be this guy, and the other cable is the ground. And that's what I have down here. And that's basically what I have down here, if you can see it. And now, I'm gonna connect this. I already made this here, and I connect it here. So, Put this guy, you can see it here. So I made it with the smoke cable, and the black is going to go to number two. Thing, once you got all you got all clockwise above and you have a connection between the ground the ground of the bore to number two and the plus of, of this bore or the output in this case into the dial is going to go to the plus to number three. Now you take you looking looking in like this. You take this control, and everybody is. See if I can show you this. Everybody is on clockwise. Yeah. 
everybody's turning this way. So now we're going to turn this one clock, clock against the, the clock and the other way until the LED goes on. So I'll see if I can show you now this is going on. So I'm going to turn this guy. This is the still doesn't work. See? So now, when I start to turn this in the other direction, the LED goes on. You see it? And now the LED goes on. Once the LED goes on, you pretty much have like a 50 hertz there. So now, if let me go and show you this. Now, if you press the button, there we go. So the whole thing is working. We already bypassed it. The whole thing. We're going to bring it down. Bring it up, press the button. And then if you if it still doesn't work, you can keep going and the other way until final works for you. I mean there's a plenty of room there and it still they will work for a while. According to the test that I did here, I can go all the way from 50 Hz to 1 kHz and my garage door is to work. So basically what it is, is this. This all the way on, oh, you put the jumper. The usual jumper comes in the first, the bottom one. You move the jumper to number two. You got one, two, three, and four. So you move it for the second place from the bottom. So you select the jumper cone in the bottom place and you put it to the second place, which is a frequency a little higher frequency. And then you move everybody this way. You hear? I give you hear that noise? That means I, I all I went all the way through. And you hear the noise on this one? That clack clack click click click. That's mean that I already put all the resistors and to the maximum on, on the on the direction of the clock. Now I'm gonna go in in the, in the only the the top resistor, the top variable resistor only. I'm gonna move it against the clock in the other direction of the until the LED goes on. So when the LED goes on, or in my garage is open and it's working. You want to see if that doesn't work? If I do this, stop working. I'm trying to make it run now, it doesn't want to run. So as soon as I, I wind in this guy a little bit, and the reaction against the counter-cocker until the LED goes on and now my garage opens open and close Fine. and that's it that's all you have it that's all you need to make to bypass the garage door so it's from this guy they give you always hard time and always broken and all this stuff to this guy, which is just a little baby you can hang on the back of this. Let's go, you gotta be careful with this. Now you lose, you lose your protection. So it's up to you to make the right thing and make sure that nobody get hurt because you just give up your, your protection on the garage door. All right, thank you, have a good one, bye-bye.